everybody. It's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to be doing an open cup traveling pour. I just made this little cup up here, bottom of a cup. And I have lots of different paints here. I'm not going to go over them all in the beginning, um, but I will list them in the description. And I can tell you the base coat here is a combination of artist law floor acrylic white and then i did add about two tablespoons of the dutch boy um, acrylic enamel to that all my paints today also are uh, mixed seven parts of the mixed to one part paint and i did thin them down a little bit with water so what we're going to do is i'm just going to put my little cup on the canvas and I think I will help it out with a little bit of extra paint here. And I'll put a little paint around that too to help it travel a little bit. This is my, I would have to say this is my favorite pour of all the different types of pouring you can do. Um, it's just, I really enjoy doing this one. So let's get started laying the paint in my cup. And the first, I can tell you some of the colors I know off the top of my head. This is a Payne's Gray. This paint is actually from Master's Touch and it's called Brown Red. You really do think it's a copper, but they call it Brown Red. This is also a Master's Touch paint. Really pretty blue color. And that one is called Lake Blue. This is also a Master's Touch paint. And this one is called Emerald Green. Very pretty. And this paint I have never used before, just bought it. I love the color. Matter of fact, let me show you the color and consistency. I left it a little bit on the thicker side here today. And that color is from Amsterdam and that is called greenish yellow. This beautiful color reminds me of a creamsicle. Let me show you that color. And this is an orange flash by folk art or i'm sorry color shift orange flash by folk art really pretty color looks like my cup is moving here the last paint i have here is a combination that i make up of the artist love flow acrylic white and just a dab of blick primary yellow so I'm just going to tip the canvas a little bit here and help my cup. And I'm also going to be doing some twisting. I've seen a few other artists do like some twisting to help their cup along. And it's given some really nice effects. No silicone added to my paint today. I will just put it in the same order as the last time. Well, this is a metallic leaf green, this color, and that is from Artist Loft. And I will help my paint out again here. I am excited to see what the mix will do. I 
And let's see if by tipping the canvas this time, if I can get that to move, and I definitely can. Okay. I think some cells are forming if I just let the cup sit for a little bit. I think I'll help it out here a little bit. Maybe we'll tip it. Okay. I think I will add a little bit more white here. Okay, I'm going to twist it a little more here. Very pretty effects by doing that. Okay. And I will start again with my layering here. That's that Payne's Gray. in the red-brown color. And this is a beachy color to me, a beachy blue color, metallic leaf green. And I'll end with my very light yellow here. Okay, and I'm going to tip it this way now, just to see what we get. Just guide it a little bit. And I can see the mix doing its very best thing here. You can see many different layers. I'm also going to drag it a little bit. And I'm going to do a little bit more down in this area. Just a couple more colors here. I really do like this color combination. Okay. 
you know, help it along just a little bit here. And I'm going to do a little bit of tipping here. Oops, I don't see the cup moving, so I'm going to help it along here. Okay. That's good. Okay, so I think I will give it a quick torch before I start my tipping. I'm really loving these effects. Okay, just going to do a little tipping here. Hopefully you can see most of this process. And I do apologize if it gets out of frame a little bit. But I am going to take it over that corner. And I'm going to bring it back. And I, as I've mentioned in um, other videos with using the mix, the more I find I stretch it out, the more effects I get that you can see several layers. And I will take it over this corner and bring it back. And now I will bring it down. And I will try and get over this corner. If I have negative space, that's fine. Okay, and now I will bring that back. Check my corner here and my sides. I'm going to clean my hands off here a minute. I'm just loving this so far. Beautiful. I think I will just stretch it down this way a little bit. And I may leave this up here as negative space. I just think that's really nice. And bring it back. I'm going to take a look at it now. Check my corners. Check my edges. And I may add a little bit additional white paint here and just tip it a little bit. So the paint is not as thick as I would like it right here.
Okay, so I will tip it down to this corner now. And it is starting to move a little bit and I will bring it back and I can't afford to bring it down quite a bit down to this area stretch out some of the stuff at the top Okay, and I'm just going to bring it around this way for a minute to take a look at it. And I'm going to clean the bottom off and check the sides. Cover the sides here a little bit. Okay, clean the bottom off. And I will give it another torch. I am just so pleased with this. It's just beautiful. And when I get you down for a close-up, you can just see all the effects that the, uh, that the mix is giving here. You can just see so many layers. Beautiful. Quick torch. I think composition wise I would want it to go this way so when I bring you down for a close-up that is the way it will go I'll just check the sides here a minute looks pretty good okay I'm gonna get you down for a close-up you can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And this is the upper left-hand corner. This is where I left the negative space. Just going down the left-hand side, it's just beautiful. These colors just played so well together, especially that orange flash. I just love how that came through. Got a few cells down here. This is the lower left-hand corner. And I'm going to go over the whole painting because it's just, it's just beautiful. And I was afraid to use that Payne's gray, but as you can see, it came through very nice here. This is a really nice area right here. Stripes are very vivid. I like this area too. And there's that red brown that came through.
And I am glad that I did end up with some white in here also. Some white that stayed. In here. Nice area in here. And this is the area that I think is so very pretty. See all the different layers that the mix allows to come through there. And here's the upper right hand corner. And we'll just go down the right hand side. Really pretty in here, nice and bright with those cells. And down here, this is interesting. I'm hoping that this is from using that enamel. It's kind of almost like lacing. Again, you can see all the different layers there. And then this is the lower right-hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. And make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.